Hello, Monster Man, and welcome back to Total Warhammer 2 and Mortal Empires Part 16, maybe? My Chaos Warriors campaign, where the High Elves are fucking dead. They, oh, I can't say the F word, can I? Because YouTube's always like, oh, do you say rude words the first five minutes of your video? And I go, no. So, forget I said that, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. And, um, good, right, so the High Elves are basically dead. I think they've only got Vol's Anvil left. So, we need to destroy more settlements because the Bretonians are almost dead. I mean, they're having a bad time. They're all riddled. Keep my holy vow. No! Well, you haven't been keeping your holy vow if you're riddled with syphilis. Possibly. I am listening. Are you, though? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to torch Vol's Anvil and then we're going to set sail for Pastures New. We're going to go to Lustria and we're going to Kick the shit out of some lizards. Hello? Um, I guess. I mean, I'm heading in that direction anyway. I was going to end up at war with them. Regardless. So I guess that's fine. Now, the only slight issue is, of course, the lizardmen are going to have a lot of large units. And while Rykarth is very good at blowing up little people, he's not so good at blowing up big... I mean, obviously everyone's big to him, but, you know, bigger. You know, more... To size, size, oh, we won. Oh, and well, I got the achieves just in time. Uh, it's fine. Oh, someone assaulted Vaz Wrath or whatever his name is. That guy, yep, you come over here. Yeah, it really is. You just like dominating people, don't you? Oh, it's Altharian. Hey, buddy. Yay, short campaign complete. That's right. We've completed Chaos. Uh, what, oh, what did you get for that? Missile resistance. Um, that's fairly garbage. Never mind. Now is chaos. Yes, it is fairly chaotic, isn't it? Right, you're going to come down here. Uh, how many more settlements do we need to torch? Six. Okay, so that's not many, actually. They're almost there. If we just go and burn Lustria, then that's pretty much pretty pretty good. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. And the Bretonians are oh, oh, hello. Yes, what are you doing down here though? I'm not complaining, mind you. I just don't know why you're suddenly down here. It's fine, I guess. Uh, you've got plague. How's Skeletor doing? Does he have plague? Oh, it's dwarves. Skeletor died. I mean, he was always dead, probably, anyway. He had a big skull for a head. But a massive, muscular, blue body. How does that work? Uh, alright. Like, it wasn't just like, yes. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't really a fighter, was he? He was supposed to be more a... Sort of scary sorcerer boy. And yet, he just, he was fucking ripped. I mean, he was as he was as big and bruisy as bloody He-Man, and He-Man turned into the little scrawny boy thingy in between. Um, but Skeletor was always roided out of the balls, and oh, you motherfuckers! Spread ruin on them. Oh, I'd go there and sort that out if I could be asked, but I can't. Let's be about this. Yes, let us indeed be about this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna sail over there. You're gonna sail over there. You're gonna come over here. And we're going to we're just gonna land all over the coast. I think we're just gonna show the lizard men who's boss. Us, we're the boss. Oh, more High Elves dead. Um, I've, I've still got that quest for the Slayer of Kings. But fuck me, what is it with you guys? Oh, the attrition, right, yeah. Uh, I swear to God, you guys are the worst. You have my favor. Yeah, I'm going to declare war. Yeah, come and- oh, Clan Mulder, you bitches. You little bitches. Hello, Master Mundy. 
Yeah, of course. You take attrition for being anywhere near guys, don't you? I forgot about that. <sighs> I had forgotten about that. Okay, you're marching. So we, okay, we can wait, of course, because we're allied, aren't we? Tell you what, tell you what, Zartan. Let's see what you can do with the hell. What the? F oh, it's a big. I, I, I wonder what the hell was going. I thought it was like a big hat, but no, it's a sail, which is basically the hat of boats, if you think about it. Good. Get valiant defeat. Are you shitting me? Come on, Solostra, you've got this. I mean, you're surely you're. AI control anyway. You just do AI control. I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, we have Solostra friends to look after us. So that's nice. And we've got guns. Lots of guns. Big guns. Trying to bring down the Ripodactyls. And doing a lot of damage. They do get in amongst us, though, but have taken... Heavy, heavy damage from our gun, including the fire infernal, infernal guard with fire glaive. So they they can they can chop and shoot. So that's fun. Meanwhile, Solostra is doing okay, I guess, uh, or not. At least she's drawing some of the lizards off me. So that's something. Meanwhile, Gorok is now approaching our lines. I kind of. Okay, I, I may have underestimated Gorok. Because he just doesn't want to die. He, he just does not want to die. Uh, we do have our bull centaurs over here. They're not quite bull centaurs. I mean, they're basically center gores. They're redone center gores. But that's, I'm kind of fine with that, actually. Good melee attack, good melee defense, good weapon strength. We're going to bring them in to hit the units that we're currently engaged with, mostly the Cyrus Warriors. Um, they do have a three ward save. 10% physical resistance. Crashing into the back of them there, doing quite... I mean, not as much damage as I would have liked. And then they turn and start kicking the shit out of the bull centaur. So that's not great. Um, same over here. The bull centaurs doing a lot of damage, but maybe not as much as they really should be. Croxagore kicking the shit out of the Bull Centaurs over here, backed up by those Cyrus Warriors. Uh, the Cyrus Warriors are a very nasty unit. And then Gorok, who is, is just murdering his way through everything that gets near him. Like, he does not give a shit. He's, he's just, like, in there and regenerating. But, yeah, he's, he's just, just regenerating very fast. Um, what, what? What can you do against that which has no life? That's the question. We do have some of our orc slaves now charging into combat. I'm trying to swing the balance. Um, and they are expendable. So, you know, there is that. Over on this flank, we're, we're fighting the chameleon stalkers who seem to be doing a lot better than the, the orc slaves. Although, I think we, we have them. I think we got them. And then over here, Solostra's forces are getting absolutely fucking minced. The Depth Guard are doing something, but yeah, I mean, it's not... Solostra is at best a diversionary tactic, because that, yeah, I mean, lizards, what do you do? What do you do against lizards? Um, shoot them with guns. So we, do, we have Zartan, the black. He's currently hammering away, and uh, he's trying to basically tank Gorok while we try and fill him with enough lead so that he can't move would be... Right, so there's a film called Bed Knob and Broomsticks and the the end of the film is basically this this, this trainee witch and she's fighting Nazis. Don't, don't question it, it's a great film. But... It's quite an old film. But she basically brings to life all these suits of armour and there's like this big battle between the it's a comedy film so at one point you know there's this nazi machine gun shooting this knight which is just hollow armor and uh, the, the knight has to stop and the nazis think they've got it and then he just sort of like empties out his boot full of bullets and then starts hopping back towards him that's basically fucking gorok 
you don't kill him, you just slow him fucking down. Um, so that's fine. Uh, the Croc score here have killed 48. That's quite a lot for Croc score. Uh, we do seem to be getting the upper hand here, although they've really mauled the Bull Centaurs. I thought they'd do really well, and they just got absolutely fucking, fucking annihilated. Uh, it looks like Gorok finally went down. Probably, probably lead poisoning from the bullets would be my guess. Yeesh! Good grief. Well, you survived. Thanks for all the help, Solostra. Moving. By the way, that was sarcasm. Gambler's armor and expert charge defense, more leadership. Well, defeating. Go. Oh, you're going to take attrition damage, are you? Uh, is there any way you can go where you're not going? No. Now is chaos. All right. Can we take? Can we take him out? Magic let's just let's just bop him. We're a lot bigger than he is. Okay. That's that dealt with. I take it it's steep waters. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little, we're a little bit moist. It's fine. It's, it's fine. We can be a little bit moist. That's okay. It's not, it's not the worst thing. Right. Let's get Doomfire because that makes everything shoot harder. And you know me. I love it when I shoot hard. So let's go spread corruption. Uh, we do have... As the Mundi there, he has some spells. He doesn't have. He could have. He could have. Oh, he does have banishment. Okay, that's quite nasty. And of course, the ruination of cities. Which I mean, for for a spell that's supposed to be like this, this ruins cities. It absolutely just fucks cities up. It's quite a small sort of area of effect. So it would take a lot of work to take down a city with that. At best, you're going to cause some undermining of some key structures, no, if you're lucky. Yeah, Gary, you kind of... I, I, you know what, Gary? Come over, come over here. You can join us in Lustria. How about that? And Crow Botherer, no. you can land over here. Just give me some vision about what's going on. Oh, God. That's Jurassic fucking Park. Eternal bondage, eh? Hmm. Um, let's get the blessings of doom. If you're going to be blessed, make it a doom one. Hello? Uh, I mean, this should be fine. I, I was I, I was wondering if you would attack me, but I think this should actually be okay. We've seen the lizards can be quite tough, but can we be tougher? Oh, hello. You photo bombing ripidactyls. Get out of it! Fucking liberties. Right, lots of rockets coming in, which is good. We do have these sacred crocs to go heading towards us. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of... It's a target-rich environment, which is a slight issue. Ideally, we want few targets. Um, although, the fact that those devastators... Annihilators? What are they? Annihilators managed to wipe out like half a unit of Croxicals. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Ish. Lepidactyls charging down. We take down one first, and we have a Colossus engaging the Feral Dread Sauron. Saurian. Saurian. I'm trying to bring it down with some rockets, but we need to concentrate fire on it, really, and there's just plenty of shit to shoot at. Sacred Croxicals going out of control. Taking a little bit of return fire from the Nature Salamander. Fortunately, the Nature Salamander is just really bad. Uh oh. Sacred Crocs are going coming. Oh, the charges did nothing but piss them off. Okay, we've got the, the Iron Demon War Engine in to intercept them. Horned ones coming in. They're horny. A uh, little banishment there coming in from Mazda Mundi. Slowly sucking off my Death Shrieker rocket. Uh, that'll be fine. The Horned One's charging on my left flank, but Ventress joining the fight there. Looks like I'm going to get the upper hand. The Colossus still engaging the Dreadsaurian. That seems to be going okay. Mazda Mundi getting a little bit too close for comfort, and we're going to focus fire. All rockets now targeting him, and you can see he's losing health very, very rapidly. 
Oh, that's going to sting. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, that's the... Oh, dear. He fell off. Down he goes. That's, that's unfortunate for him. That means our annihilators are now free to retarget and start taking out some of these other larger units. Most of the army has been routed or, you know, destroyed. Even the ancient salamander getting a few rockets in the face, which is just going to piss it off. They, they really have nerfed the ancient salamander. The ancient salamander used to be okay, and now it's just really bad. It's just a really bad unit. You don't want it. Trust me. The dread saurian very sad about being shot at by rockets but I don't want it to get away so concentrating all rocket fire on taking down the big boy I mean we've got a couple of big boys we can take down ah down goes one and I don't want that uh, blessed stegged on getting away let's see if it really is hashtag blessed or whether it's a rocket magnet it's a rocket magnet There we go. I, I do think getting the Devastators was the right decision because I mean, those guys just melt stuff. You know, boom. And the enemy army is in tiny chunks raining down around you. What could you possibly offer me, Mewling Sworn? Oh, because you... Oh, uh, all right. I'm, I'm just so far away. You know, really, I should go over there and kill you, but... So, so far away. Uh, perfect vigor for demons. They've been working out, which is uh, fantastic stuff. Right, you're going to come down here. You're going to come down here. You're going to come down here. Look at all this. Look at all these. Okay, we're going to have to land. Oh, are you taking attrition? Oh, for fuck's sake! Fucking god fucking bollocks. Wank attrition. What? <sighs> All right, we'll get rally. Spread ruin on them. Umata Dan. Umata dead, more like. It's a little, little pun there. And let's give you. Uh, you got that. You got that. You got. Uh, um, uh, Plague of Rust is. You dare. It's quite a nice little spell. Okay, we're going to head in this direction. We're just going to kill everyone we can get our hands on. Once we land down here, we'll do the same. We'll have to spread out a bit and just torch. Oh, look, some Tekalist is still alive. I'm surprised he hadn't confederated with his brother, to be honest. Shall we get these ones? Because we can afford it. And, like, the chance of researching a huge amount of stuff. Uh, it's, fuck it. There we go. Casualty replenishment rate. Bosh. Let's do that. Oh no, Crow Botherer was stabbed. I mean, he can deal with crows. He just he can't deal with lizards, though. That's that's his bit of a shortcoming, but there we go. Right, you guys are... <sighs> Almost dead. To be honest, I'm tempted to get rid of these guys simply because it's a massive ball lake. Hello. It's like, nope, I'm out. I run. Come here. Right. Right, you replenish. Uh, you can come over here. You guys... yeah, you can, Right, just leave Archaon alone. He needs his alone time. He's a bit of an introvert. He's not... He can't deal with more people. Hello, Tic-Tac-Toe. What are you doing here? Also, lots... Oh, there's Emperor... It's Carl Franz and Felix Jaeger. Is it Jaeger? 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 Who knows? Uh, sure, physical resistance for our boys, our brave boys. B brave, unhinged, basically the same thing. Okay, where can you, you can land around here somewhere. Okay, just... You just land. We'll start our little rampage. Looks like tic-tac-toe is... 
I think he knows he can get out of this. Oh no, he doesn't want to. He wants to die. Oh, well, in that case. We've burned our way across the Empire, Bretonia, Ulf one. And yet, the Lizard Men are the first, the first faction to make me go, ooh. Try to take down some of those Ripodactyls before we get, get uh, too close. Of course, the army's being led by Tic Tac Toe. Some lovely rocket coming in there, annihilating the Red Crested Skinks on that flank, just exploding them into jam. Mm, yep. Yeah. It's not looking good for Ripodactyls, though, getting close. Trying to bring Tic Tac Toe down. He's taking some damage, but he's going to reach our lines. However, the Lizardmen are moving over to, to actually attack our left flank, moving over to their right flank. So we can actually bring some of these units around to flank. Uh, we do have some Cold Bond Spear Riders engaging the Infernal Guard, but I feel like the Infernal Guard can probably deal with them. So we're going to move the Annihilators forward. The Immortals also going to uh, move forward to engage. A melee going on over on the left flank or the centre as a Colossus. And our Immortals go toe to toe with Ripodactyls and also Tic Tac Toe. Ventress dropping some magic on top of these Chameleon Stalkers. We're getting around the flank. Not really an ideal position to be in. So the Granite Guard going to move in to engage. Locking them in combat there. Unfortunately, that does mean the Sarah Spear is now heading towards our Annihilators. Ventress lands right in the midst of them to get their attention. So the Annihilators can then concentrate fire on taking them out. Not to mention dropping some Gehenna's Gold Hound on them as well. Double trouble. However, it, it does seem like... These Saras are unbreakable, and I don't entirely understand why. What sort of what sort of magic the the Slan are wielding here? But yeah, these all of these Saras spears are just unbreakable. Are they like blessed versions? Are blessed versions unbreakable? I genuinely can't remember. I have no idea why they appear to be unbreakable. It's not really a massive problem. We can knock them out, but uh, you know, having to wipe out several units is still kind of annoying. Let's see if we can bring uh, bring down Tic-Tac-Toe, but it looks like he's going to get out of range before that can happen. With just a few Sarus still fighting on, this army is dead. Yeah, didn't even lose the unit. That's worried we might lose those, those bomby boys, but we didn't. They are absolutely fine. Right, we're going to sit there for a minute. Just uh, the Skull of Katam is bad. Out of the skies. We defeated Tic Tac Toe. More campaign movement range, which actually is a nice little trait to pick up. Very nice. Okay, so we have almost landed in Austria. We're going to... I mean, I might even just torch everything that gets in my way. Just as like... Because uh, we, we need to... Hmm... We've only destroyed seven settlements. Mind you, we, we had to travel from Ulthwan, didn't we? So we're now here in Austria, and this is where we can get some really hard raising done. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.